Welcome back to Bearnid 40k. Today we're going to paint Warhammer robes and cloth out of real cloth. Model car makers have used this technique for years to paint the cloth for their models, so one day I thought I'd try it myself for Warhammer miniatures. It's definitely not something to do on every model, but I thought I'd share because it's definitely weird and, well, there's never been a video of this for 40k, even though it's a common modeling technique. If you like these types of strange Warhammer 40k painting tutorials, then like this video and subscribe because there's lots more to come. I start by removing the model from the sprue and cleaning the mold lines. Once everything is nice and clean, I do a test assembly to make sure everything fits together. I pin the model so that I can handle it without touching the actual piece. Now I prime everything in Steinal Res Primer. It's a great primer unless you try to thin it. Whatever you do, I suggest you do not try to thin it with anything. Just put it straight through the airbrush, out of the bottle, because I've worked with this stuff a lot and anything I add to it seems to make it produce flecks of pigment rather than a thin coat of paint. Like any time I use the airbrush, I just take it slow and build it up gradually. It's definitely okay if some of the plastic still shows through. This model has a few elements that won't be seen. So I thin some Citadel black with airbrush thinner and paint it black. Now I can finally add a few dabs of blue and put the two halves of the body together. I use paint and glue to make the cloth fibers stick to the model. So I mix up a close approximation using Vallejo model colors black red, royal purple, and a tiny bit of magenta. I want this thin, so I use some airbrush thinner in the mix as well. Now comes the fun part. I have real suede fibers here that I will use to make the robes. These are a wine color, but you can get them in any color you want. I add the suede cloth fibers to a metal tea strainer. My UK viewers likely have one of these already, but if you're here in the US, just pick one up from Amazon and you're all set. This process needs to move really quickly and it's a bit hard to film, but I paint one section at a time and then apply the cloth fibers while everything is still wet. Don't try to paint the whole model in one go and then apply the cloth fibers or there will be parts that are just too dry for it to stick to. Just do one section at a time for the best results. I just tap the t-ball and the fibers come out in a thin layer onto the model. Now I just repeat the process for each section of the miniature. Everything is very delicate at this point and will need to be sealed before it's done, but there's heaps of the cloth fibers where you don't want them. So I take a very soft watercolor brush and gently remove the flocking from areas where I don't want it. I give it a final seal with Tester's Dull Coat and the cloth robes are finished. As I said before, you probably shouldn't do this on every model unless you play something like Mechanicum where there's lots of robes to paint, but the cameras really don't pick up how deeply pigmented the dyed fibers are and how luminous the model looks after doing this. My wife walked in and said, wow, when she saw this tonight, and she's seen plenty of my other Warhammer models in the past. There's just something in the richness of the real cloth and dye that draws the eye and makes it stand out from other models. I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments below, so please subscribe to the channel, share this video with a friend, and tell me what you think of this tutorial, and I'll talk to you again soon.